Madison Avenue. I'm from, I'm a New York City girl. Back in the day. Back in the day. When it was mad, truly Mad Men. Yeah. Right? Remember those guys? Well, I was born in 66, so I do you watch I of... watch Mad Men, and I think that would have been an interesting time to be doing what I'm doing. Craziness. Crazy craziness. But that was public relations in the day. It's changed. Some I, I don't even know what public relations mean anymore. Yeah. Well, what it is today is it's... I, I think most people, when they think public relations, uh, they think, oh, it's putting out a press release, or, oh, it's contacting a newspaper or a radio station or a television station and trying to get your client on the air. And that's still a big part of it. But with the advent of the Internet and, and with the advent of this, this, this era today where consumers get their information when they want it, as fast as they want it, wherever they want it, it's changed quite a bit, you know. Back in the day, when I, back in, in my early days of PR, back in the early 90s, this was uh, before Al Gore invented the Internet, um, we, we used to actually fax out press releases. Occasionally, we would actually mail. Fax? Did you say fax? Fax. F-A-X. Fax machine. Fax we, we would machine? fax out uh, press releases, and, and occasionally we actually mailed them. We we put them in the remember that yeah, thing called and, the U.S. We mail. We had deadlines. Right. We and, had deadlines. And so I would mail a press release to a reporter at the Telegraph or the or the Union Leader or wherever I was trying to get a story placed. I would actually you know put it in an envelope, put a stamp on it, and mail it. And this was this was not really that long ago. This was ninety four, ninety five, and look where we are today. Just fifteen, seventeen, eighteen years later, where. I can't remember the last time I put anything in the mail at work other than a bill that I was, you know, paying out. I don't even know what PR, public relations is today. I'd like to say my, my tagline for my business, which is photography is public relations. Sure. But well, people today don't recognize that there's different medias of public relations. Yeah, what, what's changed is the way we deliver public relations. Right, I mean, exactly. the, the essential components of putting messages together, package, packaging up stories, presenting those stories so that they're newsworthy. That hasn't changed. That's the same as it was in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. What's changed, though, obviously, is how we deliver that news to uh, an editor or a reporter um, or, or sometimes directly to the consumer. And that's what the Internet is, has really changed. Consumers today, it's no longer, it's no longer a monologue. It's no longer, we're a media outlet, here's the news of the, of the day that you need to know, and here it is. Now, it's a constant dialogue, back and forth. Uh, the, the, Twitter. Well, even the traditional media outlets. We'll take a look at the Telegraph. The Telegraph puts out a newspaper in print, and they put one out, obviously, online. Every article that they put out online has a place for reader comments. Now, can you imagine 15, 20 years ago, you'd read, a, you'd read an article in the newspaper, and the only way you could really comment on it would be to r actually handwrite a letter to the editor and mail it in. That's right. Now you can, you can comment instantly, and then someone across town can comment instantly and tell you you're a fool for thinking that way. Mm -hmm. And someone on the other side of town or over in Hudson or over in Litchfield can comment and agree with you. And so you have this dialogue that goes on immediately and instantaneously.